Hi guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and today I have a special guest. I am doing a video and tutorial about the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Collection, and so I thought I would have my very own Jeffree Star make a little appearance and say hi in this video. We rescued him as a puppy when he was seven months old. He was abused before we got him, and at first he was very scared all the time, but now he is one of the most loving and sweet babies that I've ever met. So this is my Jeffree Star, and I named him after, of course, Jeffree Star that we all love and know on YouTube. So say hello. Go play. I just wanted you guys to get a chance to meet him really quick. I'm probably going to do a video fairly soon of uh, so you can meet my family. So you'll get to meet all of my animals and my husband. So anyhow, so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the blood sugar collection and then I'm going to do a tutorial with the palette. The first thing is, of course, the palette. When you get it, it comes like this. It looks like an old VCR case, I think, is what it was inspired by. And the box itself, which says blood sugar, was inspired by a medical box, according to Jeffree Star. And then, of course, the packaging, the outer packaging, says blood sugar as well. And then on the back has all the ingredients. And it is cruelty-free and vegan. So then you have this beautiful box. It is a little heavy. Um, it is... A little bit bigger than most palettes I would travel with but it is worth the heaviness and it is worth the price and it is worth everything in my opinion because it's amazing it does have these clasps and then you open it up it had, does have a mirror and then these are the shades I'm sure that you have seen people do tutorials on this palette already it sold out in, I believe, 10 minutes, and then it went on pre-order. And I think people are getting their pre-order orders now. And it is sold out again. But it will be coming back, and he said it will be a permanent addition to his makeup line. Okay, Jeffrey. What? What is it? So, I'm very excited to do a look with it. I've done a look with it a few times already, and... Um, yeah, I've just I've I'm excited to play around with the colors. So let's get started And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I usually post close-ups of my makeup looks on there Which is at pink sweets with a one instead of an I So I have already moisturized my face I already put the makeup revolution blur primer on my face and I did use some of the benefit cosmetics deep puff under my eyes because with the weather changing the way it has been, my eyes have been a little puffy lately, and it does have caffeine in it, which does deep puff them. So we're going to go in with a nice, fluffy, big eyeshadow brush for our first color. But before that, we are going to prime our eyelids. I'm going to be going in with, this is the empty one, with my MAC paint stick in white. And... I'm just going to put that on each eyelid. It is a white eyeshadow primer that will prevent any discoloration from peeking through and it will also make it so that my eyeshadows really pop because anytime that you put a white eyeshadow base on top of um, your eyelids it is really going to make the shadows pop and I like this because it's very emollient and it's very sticky and creamy and it ensures that the shadows stick to it and that they stay on all day not that these shades need any help in the pigmentation department because they are very very pigmented already so, a little bit too much. I think I'm going to use my Beauty Blender. This is my Sonia Kashuk sponge, and it's going to uh, 
remove some of the product just so that it isn't too much because you don't want if you have too much it will cause creasing and I already did do my eyebrows off camera as well as I've said I'm not an expert at that so um, I am going to use my handy dandy trusty scotch tape and I always do it with my teeth even though I shouldn't and on my lips I do have one of those uh, C.O. Bigelow, I think, things from uh, Bath and Body Works because I always like to put something on my lips to moisturize them while I am doing my makeup so that when I go in with liquid lipstick later, they're not um, all dry and cracky. So, okay. <clears throat> so, in addition to the palette, Jeffree Star did release... Um, I think it was four liquid lipsticks, a color called Romeo, a color called Problematic, and then the two that I got, one is called Self Control, which is like a lilac -y, lavender gray. It looks more gray on camera, but it is more of a lilac. And then I did get the color Restraints, because I do like unique uh, shades, and this is like a metallic pewter shade. I really like it. And I do not own the Androgyny um, liquid lipstick, but I did get the Androgyny regular lipstick, which comes in a beautiful chrome red bullet. And when you open it up, it is, according to the website, the same shade as the much loved liquid lipstick. It's a very popular shade. So I, I really wanted to have one of these bullets. So and then I also got the Velour Liquid Lip Scrub in the scent Candy Necklace, which smells amazing. These are also vegan, and you can eat them. They are edible. So after I scrub my lips, I just, which I did do that before I put on this lip balm. So now that our eyes are prepped and we're ready to go. So first we're going to open up our palette. And I'm just going to set it on my lap. I'm going to grab my Jeffree Star mirror. Oh, and one other item that I did get from the collection is I got this Jeffree Star makeup bag. And he came out with blue and pink before. And then he came out with the red for this collection only. Um, I don't know if it's going to be permanent, but I did fill it with all of my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks and my lip scrubs. So there we go. Um, all right, so I'm going to go in with the Morphe 504, which is a very large tapered blending brush. And I'm going to go into the shade glucose, which is this white shade right here. And I'm basically going to put that on my brow bone and slightly bringing it into my crease. And that's going to lighten up the brow bone. I don't necessarily do transition shades, but I do like to do um, a lighter brow bone and uh, let's see, just this creased a little bit while I was talking so I'm just gonna there we go okay then I'm going to keep the same brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade tongue pop which is right here it's like a matte peachy color and I'm gonna run that through the crease. This is a gigantic blending brush. So as I said, the day we got Jeffrey, you, you know, we found out that he had been abused previously and um, a friend of mine who works for a rescue took him out of the home that he was in and uh, f found said she would find a home and my brother said he would uh, you know foster him and I just happened to be over at his house when they came to drop him off 
and that was it. <laughs> as soon as I saw him and I held him and he fell asleep in my arms, I knew that Jeffrey was mine. And I wanted to name him something after makeup because I love makeup. And I have a dog named Sephora. Like I said, we call her Sophie for short. And my husband actually said, well, who's that guy that you love that you watch on YouTube and you buy his makeup? And I said, Jeffree Star. And he said, yeah, how about we name him that? And I thought it was an amazing idea. So that's what we went with. So I'm going to go in next with this shade Prick. It's a very bright orangey red. I think I'm going to stick with the same brush just a little bit longer and I'm just going to put that on the outer V but not bringing it in as far as tongue pop because it's going to go a little bit into my crease but not quite as far. You can hear the doggies whining. I think it's because Jeffrey's still in here with me and the other two are out there in the main area playing, but then they have caught on that Jeffrey is getting something that they're not, which is attention. So at the moment they are whining to get in as well. Comment down below if you guys have pets and what kind of pets you have. I love animals so much. Dogs are definitely my favorite, but I have had cats. Um, I have had birds, fish, a hermit crab. I think we all had one of those at one point when we went to the beach and got one. Um, probably would not get one again. I've ha I had a turtle for years and years. And um, I also, what else did I have? I think that's it. Dogs. I always had dogs growing up. My parents always had cockapoos, cocker spaniel poodle mixes. And I always wanted a big dog and my parents said no. And now they have had only big dogs. Since I moved out, they have had a Rhodesian Ridgeback, a Treeing Walker Hound, a Doberman Pinscher, and three Labs. So, but when I wanted a big dog, it was a no. So, and I worked at an animal hospital for 13 years and I worked, uh, I started working at one in high school and I called my parents on a daily basis and I was like, please, can I take this dog home? Somebody brought it in it needs a home. And we already had three dogs. So the answer was most of the time, no, <laughs> but I still, I still tried a for effort. Then I'm going in with this color right here called Cherry Soda, and I'm going to add that with my Morphe M433 in the same, almost the same spot where I put that color prick. And this is more of a red, but I am going to keep it lower than the color prick, and I don't want to take away from the brightness of the color prick, so I am making sure that I do leave enough of the shade prick so that it does still shine through. I love these shades. The only thing that I think could have made this collection any better whatsoever is if he had come out with a liquid lip, or not a liquid lip, a lip scrub that is red velvet scented and flavored. I mean, that, you know, considering it's a Valentine's -y red collection, I think he missed the boat on the whole red velvet one. I think that would have been amazing. So we're just deepening this side up. Jeffrey, what's going on? And then after that, we're going to go in with, let's see, where's my flat shader brush? Here it is. They're going with my Sugar Pill flat shader brush. It's a very large flat shader brush. And I'm going to go in with the color Sweetener, which is like a peach, 
with like a gold shift right here. And I'm going to put that all over the lid towards the inner corner. <clears throat> So, yesterday we did not get the six inches of snow that we were supposed to. We did have cold weather, though. And then today it is windy and cold, which is crazy because, you know, two days ago it was 80 degrees. I don't care what degrees it is, as long as it stays the same and doesn't so drastically change. So originally I was going to put, hmm, I was going to put an Inglot, so that's what we have right now. I was going to put an Inglot pigment on the lid, but I kind of really like this look. Hmm. Um, I'm going to go in with a little bit of fresh meat mixed with extraction, just to deepen that up a tad bit. I'll start with fresh meat, and then if I feel like I need extraction, then I'll give it a whirl. But maybe I won't need it. This is a pretty... Yeah, that made a difference. Okay, so I'll stick with that. Originally, I was going to do the Inglot glittery pigment all over the lid, but I think I might do something different because I don't want to take away from the combo, like the color um, combination. And I think I'm going to take that a little further in, in the crease area just like that. So that's what we have so far. My eyes are a different shape from one another. Everybody's eyes are different, right? Okay, so I think we're done with the top lid. I think I'm going to put, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the pink Glitter Liner from Urban Decay in the color Junk Show. And I'm just going to add that because that won't change the color too much. And it will just add some fun glitter. Jeffrey, what are you doing? What are you doing? So I'm just going to add that on the lid. And I don't know how well it will transfer on camera but there will be close-ups on my Instagram and I will see so you can just see it just adds a little more shimmeriness to the lid and I like this one because it has like pink glitter peach -y orange glitter and even some flecks of like green so I think it goes well with this look. I really want to get some of the other shades they came out with. They had the same shades for years. They had a, you know, spandex, they had amp, they had this one, ACDC Glam Rock and Midnight Cowboy, which was the gold one for years. And now they've come out with new ones and they still have the old ones, but they came out with like five or six new shades. And I I definitely want to get them because I love, I think it's the easiest way to apply glitter besides the Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glows. I think those are really great too. I think those are both the best way to apply glitter or the easiest way for me anyhow to apply glitter. Loose glitter, I do it occasionally and I just discovered the Lit Cosmetics Glitter Adhesive even though I've owned it for a while but I finally used it and it it's good. It's very good. It's good for the lips too. And I did contact the owner from Lip Cosmetics and it is lip safe. So the adhesive itself. So I thought that was a really cool thing. 
I'm just cleaning up the lower lash line and I'm not going to mess with it too much because yesterday I felt like I messed with it and I felt like I took a little off this side and then a little off that side and then a little more off this side and then a little more off that side and then before I knew it, I didn't have the cat eye shape anymore. So for foundation today, we are going to go in with the YSL Touche Eclat foundation mixed with a little bit of the Fenty foundation. This one I'm shade 120. And this one I'm in shade B20. And I always, not always, but some, most of the time I mix my foundations with the Fenty. Like regardless of what I'm using. Because this one, like I said yesterday, I think it just makes everything better. So um, I'm going to add this. This is the Alginist, I um, think I'm saying that right, Reveal Concentrated Luminizing Drops. And you can add these to your foundation. You can use them on the tops of your cheeks as a highlighter. You just put it on bare skin if you want to go with no makeup for the day. And I'm just going to shake this up. And when I put my foundation on the back of my hand, I'm going to add a few drops of that to it because I just want to see what it does. I've honestly... I have, I need to get more of this. I have used, um, oh my goodness, I really need to get more of this. I am almost out. Um, I have used the Cover Effects Illuminating Drops before, um, mixed with foundation. Um, I feel like I've used, oh, I have the Peters Thomas Roth 24 Karat Luminizer Moisturizer thing that I've also tried using it with before. And, um, with foundation but that I usually put on my face first and then I also have the Marc Jacobs coconut luminizing drops but I've never tried these ones for some reason the dropper isn't dropping so I'm just gonna put it on my hand like that and then I'll mix it together I did wash my hands before I did this um, you should always do your makeup with clean hands <clears throat> And, uh, I really, I use the Fenty foundation. Another reason I use it for is because it is the, like really light and I have a hard time finding shade foundation shades that are exactly my shade. So I like this because before I used to have to use the NYX, um, foundation mixer, like the, you know, the lightener or whatever, the white lightener and, uh, foundation lightener. So I like it because I can, I'm just putting what I have on my fingers on my face and then I can lighten any foundation and it doesn't really change the consistency, but I, I would prefer to do it with an actual foundation if I could, which is why I like the Fenty one. So I'm just dotting that everywhere. I got it all over. Let me use my little makeup wipe I have over here. And then I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk sponge again. I love this thing. And I'm going to go in and just, I think, I think I grabbed too much foundation. <laughs> Normally I don't use this much foundation. I mean, it's fine. Sometimes I do, but because I feel like I'm putting on a mask when I use this much, but sometimes you want to be a full coverage queen, right? Oh, that's a lot. I also don't have to use it all. And then I'm kind of scrunching it up to get right under the eyes. We're just going to make our funny faces. I just feel like I love that the sponge is so much bigger. It's like um, Donovan Gibb here on YouTube. He uses the Real Techniques complexion sponge. I think he would like this because he likes the complexion sponge because of its size. And I really think he would like this because it, you know, he says that he likes the fact that he could just blend out his foundation so quickly because of its size. And this one is almost as big, I think. Get a close up. 
Oh, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I do feel like this foundation blends it in really, really, I mean, foundation. This sponge blends foundation in really, really well. And I do like what the luminizing drops did to this foundation because it really did give the foundation kind of like a little luminosity to it. I think that luminosity will probably go away as soon as I put on my powder. But if I wasn't going to powder, I think it would be really nice. I just wiped away part of my foundation. There we go. And I think it also kind of gave the foundation a little bit more moisture instead of, you know, made it a little bit more glowy instead of matte. I just like to really stamp it in so that it kind of becomes second skin. Then I'm going to go in with my... Hmm, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I go between the shades 05 and 10. Today I'm using the 10. Just, I mean, both of them are pretty much light enough for my skin, so... The, the 5 definitely does more under eye brightening. And I just realized that I did not use concealer. But that's okay, because my foundation was pretty full coverage, so I think it's better that I don't use concealer today. I have an issue with my under eyes getting dry if I use too many products underneath it. So being that I used a full coverage foundation, if I were to use concealer, it probably would have looked cakey about halfway through the day. It would have started creasing and looking cakey. So we'll just leave it for now. I really like the red and peachy combo. That's cute. And I love this palette. As soon as I saw it online, I knew I had to have it, so. Okay, so now that our face is set, oh, Jeffrey, I know we're going to go on a walk as soon as I'm done recording this video, so he's very excited. We're going to go in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is in the shade Bronzer, so it's the darker of the two. And we're going to grab, let's see, I'm actually going to use this MAC, um, paddle brush. It's the 126. Again, this is the one from the Fruit Juicy collection that I used in my last video. But they still sell the brush, just not with this brush handle. And I know that contour powders and bronzers are two different things, but sometimes I just use a little bit of my bronzer in the areas of my contour because I don't con, I wouldn't say that I really contour often. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I just bronze up the face just to warm it up and not make myself look as pale. But sometimes I like a really defined contour. It just depends on the day, so. I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is this is an old brush. I don't even know where I got it from. And I'm going to just go in the hollows a little bit more. Okay, 
and then we're going to go in with blush and today we're going to use the Marc Jacobs blush. It is in the shade Kinks and Kisses. So the shade is on the back there. And this is what it looks like. I love these blushes, um, or at least this one. But all the shades appear to be beautiful and I want to get more of them. And I like this because it has like the lighter and then it has the darker and the lighter one is kind of luminous whereas the darker one is more matte and I kind of just mix them together I just run it through there and it kind of gives my blush a luminous glow but they have like a flesh tone one they have more of a pinky one they have a magenta -y one a red one a peach one this is the peachy pink one and it's very buildable because as you can see it doesn't go on crazy to begin with which is why I'm able to put a decent amount on without it looking insane so then I am going to take my Mac studio fix powder in the shade NW20 I go between NW20 and N4 and I'm going to just take this Morphe, this is from that same blue collection that doesn't have numbers or names on it. And I'm literally just going to stamp certain areas just to kind of set the face a little bit more. I have combination skin. And sometimes, some days, especially last night I fell asleep with my makeup on, bad. So I fell asleep with my makeup on and I woke up and my face felt a little more greasy so I wanted to be a little bit more set. But usually I have exactly like combination skin. So we're going to go in with two Jeffree Star highlighters. This one is Nefri. It is named after Nate and Jeffree. And this was from the Family Collection. And then this one is from his regular, just staple line. And uh, it is called Ice Cold. And I'm going to put this on first and then top it with this. So I'm going to grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighter brush. This one right here. See? We're going to go in with... Nefri. I'm just going to put that. I love this shade. I really can't decide. I want to get Nefri. I mean, not Nefri. This is what, this is Nefri. Uh, I want to get Lavender Snow. But I can't decide if I want to get the individual one or if I want to get the Platinum Ice Palette because the Platinum Ice Palette is only about $11 more than the one highlighter by itself. And that means I would get six shades. So, so I love this highlighter. Not that this is a review on the highlighter, but I love it. But see how it leaves kind of like a cast when I'm looking straight on on the side. It looks nice and pink and pretty. But to the front, I'm a little bit too pale for the shade. So I like taking Ice Cold, which is this white shade. And I like putting that on top of it. And I feel like it kind of takes that cast away. Or at least reduces it. And then I also put ice cold on my nose. Jeffrey, I know. Because the, I, I don't tend to put colored, um, you know, funky colored uh, highlighters on my face, on my nose, or on my Cupid's bow. I tend to stick to the more neutral, like the bronze, the gold, the white um, highlighters on my nose and my cupid's bow and then on my cheeks I'll go crazy and do the different colored highlighters 
And then I'm going to take my Kopari Coconut Rose Toner, which I like to use, as you guys know, as a setting uh, spray as well as a toner. And I like to, I use setting sprays as well. However, I like to use this first because it really melds the makeup into the skin and kind of really takes away the cakiness. And then I'll go in with another layer of it later. And then I'll go in with some setting spray. Got a lot going on. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do the lower lash line. So we're gonna take, I'm gonna take this Lancome, this is old. It's a the like Le crayon and it's in the sh the black color. I think it's called noir. And I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. Jeffrey, are you excited to go on a walk? So we're just gonna put that in the lower water line. The lower water line, there's an, well, no, there is a top water line. Okay, and then we're gonna grab the palette again. And we are going to grab a smaller brush, which today I'm gonna use the Morphe E18. It's a very small pencil-like brush, but it's a little bit bigger, so it's really good at blending out the lower lash line. And we're going to go back into that orangey red prick shade. And we're going to put that on the lower lash line and blend out the eyeliner with it. Yeah, I, I tried that Physician's Formula Kajal liner in the last video and oh it was brutal like it really was burning my eyes when I first put it on afterwards it was fine and it looked okay but it, it kind of disappeared in the waterline as well after a couple of hours so I probably would not recommend that or use it again then I'm gonna go in with that fresh meat shade which is the one we use to deepen the outer crease and we're just going to put that over top and not quite bring it all the way in as far as we did prick. Okay. See? And then <clears throat> I going with Nefri. Yeah, I'm going to go in with Nefri and I'm going to use that on the same brush and attempt to brighten up my inner corner. Yeah, that works fairly well too. Not as well as that Trading Mecca Highlighter Palette, but Nefri is definitely my favorite shade of highlighter besides Ice Cold from Jeffree Star. Although I really like using like Deep Freeze and Mint Condition or something like that, I think it's called. I like using those for um, eyeshadow. They they make really beautiful eyeshadow looks. There I am dropping stuff again. So I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I got a sample of it from Sephora and I've been using it and I would definitely, definitely purchase it. I think it is a beautiful mascara that makes a huge difference with my lashes. It doesn't irritate my eyes, it separates them, it lengthens them, it gives them volume. And I just, I really like it a lot. And it tends to last all day. You know how some mascaras, you put them on, it looks amazing for a couple of hours, and then 
after a couple of hours, your eyelash, your eyelashes are just pointing down again. <laughs> and I personally, as I said in, I think my first tutorial, I don't tend to wear eyelashes. I'm going to attempt it for you guys in one video at least, but I don't usually wear them because I'm terrified of losing my own eyelashes when I get older and not having many left because I wore fake lashes all the time. That could be a total myth, but nonetheless, it's my fear. <laughs> And also, I'm not good at putting them on at all. I feel like I tried once with these Katy Perry, um, I forget who made them, maybe Kiss Lashes? I forget, Ardell? I don't remember who she collabed with, but she did lashes with somebody. And I tried them, and oh my goodness, they were like, they were fine. I was awful. They, I mean, I tried for 25 minutes just to get one on. And then I dropped it on the ground. And it got dog hair all over it. And that was the end of that story. I was actually, speaking of stories, going to ask you guys if you would be interested in me doing some story times on my channel in addition to makeup tutorials and hauls and reviews. If so, comment down below. Let me know. I can tell funny stories. I can tell paranormal stories. I can tell any kind of stories you guys are interested in hearing. And if I get enough people that tell me that they want a story time, then I will sit down and do one. Um, I'm going to use the Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz. My cousin Jess sent it to me from Australia, and that is a makeup setting spray. So I'm going to spray that. My face is very wet at the moment. And then all we have left is lips. So I'm just going to... This, this mirror. This mirror was one of the best investments. It's so easy for me to do my makeup, for me to hold it off camera. Sometimes I cover my face with it, but I try to hold it, you know, a little bit further away. And then you can fan your setting spray afterwards. I love it. All right. So lips. We're going to remove any foundation we got on them. And I guess I'm going to be removing a lot of that lip balm because while I do enjoy lip balm to be sitting on my lips while I'm getting ready then I want it to be gone because I don't want it under my liquid lipstick so I'm going to use the color today in self-control um, no I lied first I'm going in with androgyny then we're going to add self-control to it so I'm going to use this color first now these lipsticks are pretty hard. I mean, they're not like really soft and creamy uh, at first, but I like it because once your lips warm it up, it does get soft and creamy. However, not too soft and creamy, which allows your lipstick to pretty much last for twice as long as it would if it was a very emollient, you know, soft lipstick. So putting that on, that's androgyny by itself. Duck lips. Um, then we're going to take self-control and we're going to put a little bit of that on top to lighten it in the center. I wear this shade by itself all the time. And that also is going to make the lipstick last longer because it's... And then as you guys know, I like to layer my lip products. And I really like using a liquid lipstick with a lip gloss on top because the lip gloss, like I said, makes it really glossy. But then when the lipstick, I mean the lip gloss comes off, the liquid lipstick is still underneath and it lasts for a few hours longer. So... Because we're doing a Jeffree Star video today, I decided to use the collaboration that he did with Jouer Cosmetics. This is Sweet Tooth, and it is a lip topper. It is 
beautiful and it is a bubblegum pink Barbie pink color with tons of sparkle in it and I really love it I bought four of them and I like to just put it on top I'll start in the center and then decide if I want to put it everywhere which usually I do usually I do And I think, yeah, I'm just going to go all over. Okay, guys, that is the finished makeup look. So it added a lot of glossiness and feels really good on the lips, very hydrating. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and miniature review on the products I got from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I do really love the collection and I do love his brand. So if you guys want to check it out, you can go to his website and I believe the palette is going to be back in stock, I think by the end of April, I think he said, but I'm not sure. But I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and go check out my Instagram where I post close-up photos and more information about my look. I hope you guys enjoy your day and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.